And why I want you to learn how to draw them? Well, because I love birds. I like how they sing to us already uh, during starting in the spring and then throughout the summer. I also love how um, beautifully their feathers look like. You see, in the past, the people used feathers to write because there were no uh, pens like we have them now or the markers. So what the people have done, they sharpened this part of the feather, I mean here, just the tip of this part called quill to the point and then they tap this um, uh, such a, a well-crafted feather into ink and then with the ink they wrote down. So the feathers were very very important. Now in those present times we just simply enjoy their look and I have to tell you that you have different types of feathers not only that they come from different birds but also different kinds. Um, they have feathers such as tail feathers, flight feathers, sema, plum and so on so on. In our case I want to talk about the I think this is the flight feather, uh, I'm sorry, the tail, the tail feather. And um, I would like to draw its beauty, to really push it up. So what we will be using today, well, we start, of course, with the pencil. And then we will use markers and as well as the pencil crayons or colored crayons. Um, you decide if you just want to use the markers up or if you want to continue with with uh, color crayons that the choice is up to you so anyway the feather is here and i want to make you aware again at the shaft or quill part uh, we have regular feathers here and then we have those very very fluffy feathers on the bottom and those feathers are the ones that you can find in the pillows Right, yes, in the pillows. Some of them have the synthetic stuff in, but some of the pillows have feathers. And those feathers, those fluffy, fluffy, beautiful ones and soft are used for it. Okay, so they are called down feathers. Okay, so what we want to do, I place this beautiful feather on the side and you should do it the same or just take the photograph of a feather, find it. And we will start first with sketching it here. Okay, so what I will be doing here, guys, First, I will create the shaft here. Let me move it nicely. Okay, so I'm creating the shaft or the quill. And this will go here. So don't make it really very heavy. Right, and again, don't forget you have to draw very, very lightly. So you see the tip at the end becomes a little bit narrower. So I have to present it this way too. Okay, so here I am with the first first important part of the feather and then I will look at the tip of this feather hmm runs beautifully here okay so I just very lightly with the lines remember those lights have to the lines have to be very very light you see I'm marking where my feathers will be placed here remember that we still want to have the downy feathers so when you want to have downy feathers we need to leave the, a little bit of the space empty space here so here we go right here we go you see not perfectly even because when you look at the shape it's not and then we will have some of those downy feathers here i don't need to mark them very hard just like this okay after that after that i want to move already to my marker and i have two different kinds actually i have three different kinds of markers i have one two and three and i have to decide which one i will be using this marker has a this marker has a very very sharp pointy pointy tip so it's the same with this one here and then i have a really quite heavy marker here so um what i will uh, do first i think i will use this marker okay this is very common that you can find at home you see, ask just your parents if you don't can find one like this, okay? And then here we go, okay? Then you will create this shaft or quill. Remember, you don't need to use one continuous line. This line, this one line can be broken. That means that it will consist of many, many shorter lines, right? And that actually makes it even looking more interesting. After that, I want to bring some of those feathers on the top you see 
here like this. You see my lines? Not perfect even, but they follow uh, this roundness here, okay? Then maybe I bring one feather, small feather inside here, then I will break the space here, you see? And then again, I'm going shoo, 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 voila, here. Then I will maybe break it even more. Like you see, here will be one, and then another part. Notice what I do here on the side. Choo, 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 choo. There are my lines, right? They are crossing slightly differently. And now, you see, even break it here. They don't need to be perfect. Remember, perfection, it's not necessary here. Then I'm going on the other side. The side should repeat more or less the same one, the other side, like left and right. However, notice, those parts are not coming, those dividation are not coming in in the same spot. So I'm looking here, maybe I create another part here. Like you see a little bit of it here. Oh, this is coming too, to me too much of the same side. Okay, I will go here. Remember the two, 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 two on the sides here. We want to create a little bit of the space here. And then we are going down with it. You see, so we are coming closer to the shaft or the quilt. Or quilt, sorry. Now we have the downy downy feathers so those feathers just be very loose like this a ah, little bit of it here La, i like to sing i like to make different <laughs> noises when i draw it just helps me we have to find our way some people like to listen to music my husband for example i don't i rather listen to the different post uh, podcasts uh, i listen to the books audiobooks or i sing by myself to myself, okay? So now notice what I'm doing here. Now I want to get those separate feathers. You see like here, just the parts, okay? Like this. See, I'm coming here to the shaft or quill here like this. And from the dot, 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 and chuk, chuk, chuk. Doesn't need to be perfectly even, you see? More like this, like this, like this, like this here. I want to have a bigger, space so you see what i do i'm coming here with stronger lines or going couple lines you see and i make the space between then i'm coming here and i want to have the same in this spot i want to have again stronger line so that means i'm going couple with couple lines on the top of one here and then here skinny skinny lines here shoo 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 shoo, shoo you see and it's coming it's coming you see those feathers here Oh la la, I really start liking it. I like what is happening here. So you see here I'm coming. This is the space between. So I have to mark, I call it the triangle effect. Here in this spot here, I need a little bit darker line, a little bit heavier, right? So you see what is happening? It looks interesting. If you want to connect some of those jigsaw lines here, you can have it here, a little bit of it here, a little bit there. You see, those are fine. Those are really zhu, 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 zhu. Okay, lines. Now, I need to finish it here stronger. You see the shaft looks like this, and now I'm coming on the other side. So, again, here. If you think that it's more convenient for you to simply turn it on the other side, like you're drawing, well, why not, right? So here I'm coming. I'm coming here. I'm coming there. And you see, there's not such thing that you can make mistake here. It's really just, so don't be very hard on yourself when certain things change because you can easily accommodate those changes into your own drawing, okay? That's very, very important, okay? So be brave, don't judge yourself, don't be hard on yourself. This is the one big mistake that we all do. See, we have to realize that we are artists, we are magicians, we can change everything, right? And make it even more interesting. Okay, so here we go, guys. You see more. This is a little bit dark for me, so I'm changing it here. You see, I'm coming here with some of those small feathers here or separate feathers. Looks better, see? So there's always, you can always recreate the nice balance, even when something didn't work the way you wanted, uh, wanted to have it at the beginning. So you see, I'm coming here. I will recreate it here a little bit, then a little bit more of it here. Right? And you see, I start having my beautiful feather. Now notice that I want to have a little bit darker spots here in the, in the center. So I can help now myself using the pencil crayons and I can use black one. I like to call them pencil crayons. I should say um, colored pencils. That's what I heard. I can also use, believe me or not, gray color. And I like to have 
this color here, maybe even the dark blue. I don't know what I will be using, I truly don't. Everything depends how the drawing will section there, okay? Again, when you look at this particular black, we always talk about black of certain color. So the black on the blue side, or the black on the yellow side, uh, on the black on, let's see, green side, you always look for this information, right? So for example, I think that in this black, I can find some of the blue. So I'm coming here and I definitely do it. Like you see, I'm applying uh, blue. Remember when I want to change it, easy peasy, I can add to or put on the top of black and it's okay. You see here, I'm coming with a little bit more of the blue and I really like the effect of the blue, right? To see the blue in my drawing. I think it really, really helps it. Um, helps the colors, helps to create this coloristic, beautiful composition here, okay? So here we are. Now, guys, I want to try what will happen when I apply a little bit of brown into it, right? It's nothing wrong. The same here, just a little bit. Notice, I'm just moving it like this. The same tiny bit here, tiny bit here. You see, not everywhere in the same amount, right? So closer to the shaft or what we call it, quill, right? Now, I want to make it, at least apply a little bit of gray. The gray again has a little bit um, of blue in it, I think. So that also looks nice, especially darker here next to the quill right and then darker here so you see it looks already quite nice um, now if you want to we can also apply some of the black black uh, marks done with the colored pencil so here we are you see i really like what is happening here you see a little bit more even here and you see all this this nice play of all the colors that i used and that's what we want to have you see like this, okay? I'm going on the quill a little bit, or shaft, here. I make a tiny bit darker on one side, not on both sides, notice, it's on this side, where I make it darker, right? So there will be my left side. Now, I make this part here, just next to the quill, I make it darker. Not very much, remember, not super dark, because I already used the uh, sharpies and when I use the sharpies they give me the darkest darkest black right or the darkest tone I would say okay so you see here I'm going there and it's darker you see how nice it starts looking it just gives the such a finished touch to the drawing see if I want to like you see now I can bring some lines with the um, colored pencil see like this and I can decide how strong they have to be but the very important tip for you here is that you will start those lines from the quill part you see here not from here not at all okay and again don't follow just one direction be loose blues with those lines okay so let them just go by themselves like and you push the pencil okay like this okay again and you push it from the from the quill, okay, part. So you see how good? I think I can still add a little bit of the blue. I don't know why, but I think it looks so good. Oh no, that's my pencil. What has happened to, me to the, my blue color? I can find it, so that means that I can use it. In this case, guys, I just go in here with just a little bit of the color here. I want to leave the tips white because this is like a reflection of the light in my feathers, right? So here I am, you see, and that's my beautiful, my beautiful feather, okay? Now, I just want to see if I would be able just to squeeze a little bit of my darker, like, thicker marker here, you see? Just a little bit maybe here. You don't need to do it, but I like to add it. Like, you see, on one side, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not going on both sides, you see, and it's broken line that I was talking about, you see, just a little bit of it here, and it does grants the object, I call it, a little bit more, you see, broken line, 
very, very important. Okay, so you see how nice it looks? Maybe still a couple of more because I'm perfect. Well, I should not say I don't like to be perfectionist, but you see, just I think in this section it can be a little bit darker. And then we have our nice, nice feather, right? If you want to now, you can put some of the colors here in the background, but you don't need to. So guys, this is our feather. I just move it now, my drawing, into this direction that you can see it, right? You see how good it looks like? Now you can have the option of signing it. Because remember, you are the artist. And notice what I'm doing right now. I'm still adding some, some lines because for the artist, the work is never really finished. Never. You can always add and add and add. So there's a point in which you have to make the decision, okay, I have to quit. I think it's good enough and I can leave it, right? So remember, it's never finished. It's never finished. So this is here. Maybe a little bit here. You see, I can't stop. I really like to work on this feather. I really have so much fun doing it. Okay. So here I have my feather. And then you see, for the composition reason, I think it would be nice to sign it. So I will sign with two first letters of my first and the last name. So I will say, hmm, and I sign it here. But you see, like this. And so I have an my first name, my last name, it's, it's uh, hyphenated, so two letters, and that's it, guys. And then you see how nicely the space is occupied. So I hope that you will have lots of fun working on this project. Have a good day. Um, stay optimistic, happy, hearty, and see you next time. Bye.